What up, y'all? Let me find my cigarettes in my pocket here. How y'all doing today? Welcome to Poo Poo and Plunkett. Boy, I'm doing just fucking great. Thank you for asking. It's gonna be a good poop today, boys. That ain't no bullshit. Fuck. You might be wondering why I am uh, wearing a fucking hoodie inside of my house. And I'll tell y'all why. The reason is because it is fucking cold. God damn it. I'm waiting for propane people to come here in the next few days or whatever. And, uh, I'm not looking forward to the bill. Any bills I get, I'm not looking forward to it, but especially this one. It's just fucking expensive, y'all. As you probably know by now, I keep my heat really fucking cold in the wintertime. So I don't have to spend so much money on my heat bill. Um, anyways, the reason I called this meeting here, y'all, well, for one, because I had to, you know, I was, I was drinking some coffee, you know, and one thing leads to another, you know, you know how that shit goes. I just uh, see the picture, well, it was a screenshot of a news article, I think, I don't know if it was real or not, I didn't look into it, I didn't care enough to look into whether it's real or not, but it was funny either way, and uh, that's uh, apparently somewhere, someplace, there's a raccoon Stuck to some train tracks because his testicles got stuck to the train, like the middle train track. Which would be surprising, but with my experience of seeing random animals' testicles, holy fuck, man, I believe it. No, that came out wrong. It makes it sound like I actively look for animals' nuts, and I don't. They want me to see it. I don't actively try to see the balls. They show them to me without, like, I'm like, no, dude, I don't want to see your balls. And they're like, dude, you got to check these motherfuckers out. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, anyway, so my first experience was, like, observing the mass of uh, animals' testicles that I had never really thought about before that moment, but I was shocked. I was, like, 14. I was in the dentist, and this fucking squirrel came running across the window. I'm all looking out there, and he, like, jumped up on the window like this with a little leg spread out. Dude, that motherfucker's balls were like... I mean, the squirrel's only this big, dude. His balls were that fucking big, dude. They're fucking huge. And I was so shocked and amazed. I still remember that. If I could draw, I could draw a picture of that squirrel... And well, that was a long time ago, y'all. And uh, and then another time more recently, I had a possum got into my house somehow. And it was like late at night and shit. You know, I heard something. I'm like, what the fuck is that noise? So I get up to investigate. Where's the fucking possum? On my staircase out there in the living room. And this motherfucker, dude, he see me, he starts going back upstairs, dude. This motherfucker's balls were like fucking thump, thump. You know, on each stair he went up, dude. His balls were dragging behind him and like swinging back forward as he like climbed the stairs. His balls were like three steps behind him the whole way. I was like, holy shit, dude. I could only imagine a uh, fucking uh, raccoon probably had balls that same size. Holy shit, man. I think, uh, I seen a wild boar one time when I was in Texas. Well, I seen a lot of wild boars dead on the side of the road. And, uh, 
There's one that's flipped over on his back, dude, and his balls were like, holy shit, man. Anyways, that's about the experience of my animals viewing their balls. That's kind of weird now that I think about it. But like I said, I don't like, you know, try to look at animals' balls. Man, we had a dog back in the day, and that thing had some... Anyways, uh, I guess I'll do it today, pig. I gotta go think about something that's not fucking animal testicles. Y'all wash your hands after you poop.